The other day I wrote an article about the importance of cele celebrating success. And it doesn't matter whether it's small wins, large wins, and that's with yourself, friends, family, clients, employees. But embracing that makes such a difference. And it led me to start thinking about why it's important to have a nurturing environment and as a leader, create a nurturing environment. And what do I mean by a nurturing environment? That's creating a culture where people feel supported and safe and can embrace vulnerability. And they learn from that. Because here's the thing, when they feel safe and supported and comfortable with failing, and they know that you're going to help them to learn from those mistakes, it helps them to grow. I mean, consider when you're a baby. When you're a baby, you get up, you fall down. You get up, you fall down. And each time you try to get up, what is the response that you get from your parents? They're like, oh my God, that's amazing. Have you seen this? They get really excited. And that encourages you to get up again. And then eventually you find your feet and you start taking steps. And that moment is magical because you can see the excitement on the baby's face and the excitement on the parent's face. It's just like that, another sense of achievement. And yet, we very rarely do those kind of things. So, you know, how can you show that you've got a nurturing environment? As I mentioned before, celebrate wins. Show gratitude for when someone has done something and be specific about why that activity is important. Because here's a fun fact. When you celebrate achievements at work, it changes the way your brain responds, even to mundane things. And those endorphins get released inside your body and we experience that euphoria. As you say, when you're a baby, you get up, you fall down, and the smile on your face when each time you try to try it is fantastic. The second to show that you've got a nurturing environment is that when you do make mistakes, be open about them and enable your teams to be able to learn from them. Because when you actually make mistakes and you admit them, then it encourages others to make, uh, admit their mistakes too. And they learn from it and they grow. Because have you remembered a time when you're in work, you're in a company and you share a great idea and you voice your opinion and it gets shot down? And what happens? How do you feel inside? And what is the result? Do you share ideas again? Or do you hold back? Do you keep them all to yourself and then just think, well, what's the point? Um, there's no point in me trying. And yet, if someone goes, when you share an idea, they go, that's a great idea, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work with that, see what we can do with that, then what does it do? It encourages you to share ideas again, challenge again, be more innovative and creative. And not only do you grow, that it actually creates more success within the organisation. And that's why being a nurturing environment and being a leader that creates that environment is so important. So what are you going to do today to help your organisation become a nurturing environment?